Hey folks, hello, welcome to the Vitruvian Live episode 17, I believe. And man, I'm beat, I'm tired. Uh, I just got home. Uh, you will notice the lighting is very poor uh, at this moment. That's because normally I can record this earlier after work but I had to work longer because things this week are just a mess at work wow coming back from vacation is not the nicest thing oh man it's hard uh, some mistakes were made during my absence and now well nothing is going the way it's planned and oh man especially when your job is planning stuff it's very frustrating if things don't go as planned so that was uh, again a very difficult bad day at work luckily we can rel uh we we, we understand I, I understand that it's all relative and it's all well we're home now so it's done we'll see tomorrow what tomorrow brings and uh, and it's almost weekend again so that's cool so um what uh yeah i want to talk about something i have uh, because i was talking with elisa yesterday we were having uh, dinner here at home and uh, I was uh, we were having mashed potatoes with spinach and uh, and some sausage and uh, I made a little bit too much but uh, of course I cannot go anything let anything go to waste and also Elisa thinks I'm a big eater I used to be a big eater but I tried to keep it down a little bit but she put everything was that was still in the pot on my plate and I said well this is actually too much I ate it though and I said I really I really need to do some sports again because uh, I think I had an injury uh, I normally play indoor soccer futsal and I had an injury at the beginning of this year somewhere February March I don't know um, and uh, well, I, I, it has been messing with me since then, and um, there's already a new season going on. I'm still a member of the football, futsal team, but I, I just don't play at this moment because I don't feel like my leg is up to it. I think if I run or sprint once too, too uh, fast, or if I kick a ball too hard, then it's going to come back the injury I think I I'm not sure it might not be but I have this feeling it might be mentally it might be physically I, I when I do something that is more of a uh, well that puts more pressure on my leg I feel like there is still something going on there but it might be in my head I don't know so anyway uh, in that perspective I need to do something else I need to to have to do something because I now have a desk job which I didn't have before last year so I did I'm been working a year now on a desk job before I was well uh, I stood in a big store where I was on my feet the whole day I took a zillion steps each day now it's not the case anymore and uh, you you feel that right you notice your body I I've been sporting I've been playing football outdoor indoor whatever uh, since i was six and now for half a year or even more now i haven't done sports except for a couple of visits to the gym which i which we quit we we <laughs> because we didn't go enough to well to make it its money's worth so i need to do something else and that's a very difficult thing so i really wanted to play tennis uh, that's something i really want to do Long story, I'll probably tell you about uh, my idea about tennis or, or about my tennis talent in the future. It's a story that um, Elisa and some of uh, my friends heard often enough, so I will keep that for later for you. Uh, but I want to play tennis. Uh, problem is, man, that's expensive. So I'm not talking about getting a tennis racket uh, or, or tennis shoes or whatever. It might be expensive as well, but just to be a member at the tennis club wow i was so surprised and we're talking about a couple of hundreds of euros for a season and which means winter or summer so not for a year for a season so half a year which blew my mind and if you want to have to take lessons on top of that 
then we're talking about prices that are just not for the normal people anymore and I really thought that it has changed because uh, already a while ago we had the golden era of uh, women tennis here in Belgium with uh, Kim Clasters and Justine Henne and many people started playing tennis and I thought it was more an hour sport for the people not an elitist sport which it used to be uh, very much I used I have played tennis for a year when I was about 14 I 14 or 15 years old and I quit after a year because it was just not my kind of world and I thought things had changed until I see those prizes. Those prizes are still for the elite, not for just a common working man like I am. So it's not an option, not at this moment, no way, no. It's, it's, I cannot imagine why it's so expensive. So other things, other ideas, I have no idea. Running. That's the that's probably the most obvious one. We have a running club here in the, in the town where I live. Um, a friend of mine goes there. Their daughter goes there as well. And you can go just go run track, and you or you can go jog through the town uh, on certain days. They go to events where they run, uh, but it's all. You can choose how much you run, uh, how if you want to do competition, if you want to do these events, you're free to choose. Now, all good and well, and it's not expensive. I think it's 50 euros for a year or 40 euros for a year. Um, and it would be 50 if I still uh, be, become a member this year, but then it's to the end of next year. So it's that's, <laughs> especially next to tennis, very cheap. Um, but it's just running. And I've been playing competitive sports since I was six. Of course, when you're six, the competitiveness is not that big. But still, I played team sports for uh, more than 30 years. And it feels like running has no goal. So I could go and run and try to run, uh, become a runner and, and do competition. But that's not what I'm going to do, especially with the leg. You never know. Uh, that's something. I also played... Uh, table tennis for a year uh, which I entered competition as well I'm not sure competition of course the lowest uh, the lowest of the lowest uh, I like that but I moved away from there so I am not close to that anymore I like that but I I don't feel like that will is and I don't want to insult someone who plays table tennis because I know if you play table tennis in a professional way or very serious competitive it is a sport but if you go and play it casually, I don't feel like that is going to help my body and my physique and my fitness, right? So that's not the biggest, best option either. Uh, swimming is an option, but I don't like swimming. That's just the truth. I don't like swimming. I know Elisa wants to go back to, and do swimming again, uh, but I don't like it. While my cat is moving the camera, thank you for that. And uh, so, yeah, it will probably become running. But if you have other ideas of what the guy can do, who uh, there she is, uh, normally she is the other one. Uh, yeah, so I'm still thinking about what I should do, but I really need to do something. I, I really need to do so. I, it, you, you feel it, right? After 30 years of, 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 of doing sports, even if it was only an hour each week, my body feels it and I need a change there so we'll see we'll see now before I stop this episode which is already long actually um, I want to mention oh and I need uh, and that's so stupid that I have to um, have to check it because I should know it by heart but I will I want to say the name proper so let's check it out uh, it's in my history of YouTube so uh, tomorrow uh, this morning I think I was watching uh, a video of Nerfenstein aka the girly gamer uh, who subscribed a while ago on this channel I think and she also commented on some of uh, the episodes here of the virtual ring life uh, very nice and uh, well she just did a vlog uh, a sad vlog a little bit it was about the loss of her pet a dog uh, that passed away sadly enough um, 
but she normally doesn't do vlogs where she shows her face because she doesn't feel comfortable and those things and I know about not feeling comfortable showing myself and stuff like that this is really a big step that I'm doing this the next step was doing this outside still not used to that we'll practice on it but she did a, a, a new vlog where she showed herself and talked about stuff and it was done very cool it was with this news banner at the bottom which was very cool that, to add uh, I don't have the time to do that for my channel I, I'm lazy and not enough time to do so but she mentioned me and another channel uh, for be, for inspiring her to do it and that really surprised me, humbled me and made me happy so I wanted to mention her so ch go check it out go check out uh, Nerfenstein that's N-E-R-F-E-N-S-T-E-I-N aka Girly Gamer go check her out uh, she's been doing this for quite a while I think and uh, well uh, videos where she shows her hands not her face but and um, she has quite a bit of subscribers if I'm not mistaken uh, let me check she uh, she she, she, <laughs> she does I think uh, she has over 2,000 subscribers so she's doing not too bad so go check her out her channel and uh, well that's it that was something I just still had to mention and uh, well now I'm ending it here because it's taking way too long. Thank you for watching again a new episode of the Vitruvian Life. Thank you for being here, for commenting every day. There are some comments every day which I really love. And uh, again, help the channel grow by giving thumbs up, by sharing, by commenting and so on. If you're new here, push that subscribe button and uh, you're welcome to stay here in the future. Thanks again folks and I'll see you all tomorrow with a new episode of the Vitruvian Life. Bye bye.